Hey guys, what's up? It's Willie B here, bringing you back another Minecraft plugin tutorial. Uh, today we're doing uh, holograms using holographic displays API. Uh, so this is going to be showing you not only how to do holographic displays, but also kind of show you guys how APIs work. So we're going to be using the holographic uh, holographic displays API to do this. Um, so hopefully you guys get a taste for how that kind of works. Uh, I'm going to try to do this uh, fairly quickly. Uh, hopefully you guys can still figure out what's going on. If you need to go back, you can. Um, just to start off though, I've already finished the plugin YML. Uh, so the command we're using is hologram or slash hologram. And we're going to be using all of the arguments after that. But uh, we're going to get into all that in the on command. But first we need to start out with a make hologram method. So we're going to do public void make hologram. And for this we need the player and the message we want to display. Uh, so with uh, holographic displays you need to use uh, try and a catch just in case it doesn't it, like in case it tries to get the, uh, the plugin and then it can't or tries to it tries to use the plugin uh, and it can't um, you need a catch for that otherwise it'll freak out so uh, right off the bat we'll do try and then the catch will be uh, no class def found error uh, e uh, and then e dot print stack trace so no class definition I'm pretty sure that's what the def is definition found uh, so if we can't find uh, what we're looking for from holographic displays it's gonna uh, present us with that uh, we can just import this I think yep this is the largest chunk we're going to be using some of the timers we've used before um, just because we want to make it so the hologram follows the player around as they move so you don't have it staying where they were and then when they move you know a few blocks away it's still where they were we want it to follow them around and then I'll uh, show you guys how to end it so let's get started here uh, with plugin plugin oops, equals this Mm. And you'll need to import that. Uh, you want org.bucket.plugin. You don't want the other one here. Also, I'm going to have all this code uh, in a paste, paste bin or haste bin in the description. So if you need to copy and paste some stuff, because uh, this chunk is fairly large, um, and it'll probably be very similar to what you want to do with it. Um, so feel free to just copy and paste it. Uh, next we need the location of the player, so um, pl.get get low. For some reason my Eclipse has been a little bit laggy recently. Uh, we want the location from org.bucket. Um, we're also going to set the y coordinate of this um, a little bit higher than where the player is. So it's going to set it to 2.3 blocks above where their feet are, uh, so the the, uh, the hologram will display above their head. Now we're actually going to be creating the hologram. Uh, make sure I should probably explain this actually. Um, make sure you have your uh, hologram uh, holographic displays API uh, linked. So you go to build path, configure build path. Uh, and this would be similar to how uh, you have your uh, your spigot jar um, imported. So you're going to do the exact same for this. So let's just remove that. So you have just your spigot so far. So you want to go to add external jars. Uh, navigate to wherever you have the API. And make sure you have the API and not just the server jar. Uh, this one's a lot smaller and actually has the API stuff in it. Whereas this is what the server is running. Um, so this one is what you want. So holographic displays API, uh, and then whatever version. I'm using 2.1.7. I open that, and it's added in. Apply and close. And now you're good to go. So now we'll do hologram, uh, 
Apollo equals uh, this is a fun a fun little thing here. So holograms API API dot create hologram uh, plugin and then this is the location so just loca and that's that and now we want to uh, color the string so make it use of the color codes that we're going to give it because uh, we're going to make it so when you run the command uh, you can add your color codes into the message uh, to make it uh, I don't know just make it cool I guess uh, so string uh, we'll call it color message equals chat chat color dot translate uh, this one here translate alternate color codes and put an ampersand in there and then message so that's going to be getting the message uh, from here which is going to be given to us from our command and that's going to translate the uh, color codes uh, and then hollow dot append uh, text line color message uh, there's all kinds of things you can do with hollow uh, you can delete it clear lines uh, append item lines and that's where you add an item stack to it um, all kinds of different things here uh, so it's a really uh, useful thing you can get lines you can set particular lines if you want to um, like it's very the, the API is really well built I should say uh, so now that we've set our message to that we're gonna create a we're gonna cre create a uh, sync repeating task that's gonna teleport it every uh, every we'll say two ticks I guess uh, that should be fast enough that it's um, gonna look smooth uh, you might want to tinker with that a little bit so we want final int ID equals bucket dot get server dot get scheduler dot schedule uh, sync repeating task with the runnable I think here now this is gonna I, I hate doing these I, I don't know why but uh, this is gonna be a plugin it's gonna be new runnable uh, and this is also a great time for you to uh, Uh, this would be a great time for you to copy and paste stuff because this is just this is definitely going to be the exact same all the time uh, add implemented methods and then we get that which is automatically put in there for us which is nice uh, so location new block equals pl oops, dot get location new lock dot set y is new lock dot get get y plus 2.3d and then hollow dot teleport to new lock uh, just like that we've got that set up and now we'll just make this uh, too too long and too long so actually uh, initial delay will be zero which is the first number there and then the repeating delay will be uh, two ticks uh, so now we're going to be doing the actual cancellation of it bucket dot get server dot get scheduler dot uh, schedule sync delayed task runnable um, and plugin and new runnable and then oh, are you not going to do it for me this time? Better do something differently. Oh, right. there it is. Okay. So in here, we're going to just do hollow dot delete, which will just delete the hologram, and then bucket dot 
get scheduler dot cancel task and we just give it the ID that is this int and we're good to go oh we need to um, hmm. we may have done it wrong but I should be able to do that how's that work yeah okay so I just I just did a the wrong um, automatic fill in kind of thing but uh, yeah so plug in new runnable all this stuff uh, and then 100 long which will be five seconds or 100 ticks uh, server has 20 ticks per second uh, and that's um, yeah that's all we need to do there uh, so now our make hologram uh, class is ready so now all we need to do is set up our command so if args zero it's not equal, oops, not equal null and args zero just not equal empty string so we're just making sure we're not going to be sending any empty strings or uh, null strings that kind of thing to anything uh, we just want to make sure there's no errors uh, string message equals oh, uh, empty string uh, we're gonna do a for loop here so for string arg in args so for each of the strings uh, that are in args we're gonna be uh, we're, this is building our message because the way commands work every uh, every argument you send so every time you put a space between a word it sends it as a separate argument so we're just going to take those arguments put them back together uh, but keep the spaces intact so we can just send it on over to make hologram and it'll make it for us uh, so message equals message plus arg plus and then we need to add our space um, oops. and then player player equals uh, player sender um, and this is where we're calling our make hologram method so we'll make hologram player oops, player message um, and of course we need to return true then that is everything we need to do so let's hop on over uh, export it and then I'll see you on the server all right so we're back on the server and I'm just gonna be showing you guys also the uh, the way it moves so let's do slash hologram um, hey everyone and then we'll add in a little color code here do colors work and you can see they do and that is a little bit slow behind but it will keep up with you if you're just moving around a little bit maybe you move over to a new, new spot and you want to keep it uh, it'll stay there uh, you can always turn it down to uh, one tick if you really wanted to um, that would make it twice as fast as that but uh, that's it that's all I uh, got for you guys today hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did leave a like uh, also subscribe I noticed 97.7% of my views come from non-subscribers, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be getting back into these tutorial videos a lot more. Also, I'm moving in June, uh, and when I move, I'm going to start streaming. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to be streaming yet. Probably a lot of PUBG, uh, maybe some Rainbow Six, games like that, uh, with a few buddies of mine. So it should be a blast, so make sure you subscribe, uh, and I hope to do uh, episode 10 very soon. Uh, that will be, uh, as requested by a few people, uh, combining all of the uh, tutorials I've done so far. So you get some of everything, kind of get to know how to put it all together. Because I found uh, one person said that they uh, couldn't figure out, they, they could do the tutorial and get that working, but they couldn't figure out how to twist it into what they wanted it to do. 
So hopefully I'm going to figure out something that puts everything together, uh, makes it like a logical thing that you like a useful plugin. Uh, and hopefully I can put that all together for you. It probably will be end, end up being a longer episode, uh, which is unfortunate, but uh, hopefully it'll help you guys a lot. And then episode 11, we'll get back into uh, specific things, which should be a blast. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, peace out. <music>